Trinity University Airbenders UAV team was founded in 2018. Ever since the team joined national and international UAV competitions and created independent UAV projects. It consists of three sub-teams which are the mechanical team, electronics team and the software team. Members of the Airbenders UAV team consist of mechanical engineering, electrics and electronics engineering, computer engineering and physics students. The entire development team can be seen. In the table, description of the task and requirements are listed as shown. The UAV is designed as an X-framed quadcopter, considering maneuverability, stability and optimal mission time to be able to complete all of the mission tasks. The mainframe consists of two square carbon fiber plates to achieve lightweight and durability, 22 inches hybrid carbon propellers and T-motor MN6007-2 have been chosen to achieve sufficient thrust. The total takeoff weight is 22 pounds, including airdrop payload. The thrust weight ratio of the UAV is 2.6 and the flight speed is 26 knots. Pixar Cube Orange is used as a flight controller, Jetson Nano is used as a companion computer, and Pixar Here 3 GPS system is used for high precision positioning and navigation. For power supply, four packs of 3S5P Lion batteries are connected as two parallel and two series which supply total 30,000 mAh 6S10P Lion battery. Flight controller is connected to the companion computer via serial UART connection and communication provided by the MAVLINK protocol. Additionally, another serial connection provides a communication link between the companion computer and microcontroller of the drop mechanism. Robot operating system with C++ is used to implement all of the subsystems individually and merge them at the end. Before real-time tests, the codes are tested in the Gazebo simulation environment. Mavlink communication protocol with MaRos library is used to communicate between ROS nodes. MaRos library is used to convert the messages for communication in the Mavlink protocol into headers. Camera module chosen for object detection has 16 megapixel resolution IMX 519 image sensor with autofocus capability. Its field of view is 80 degrees. These properties enable the detection of smaller objects on the lower altitude without compromising the PPI ratio. PPI is calculated as 2.3 in 100 feet altitude. During the object detection phase, images captured while surveying the ODLC area are processed through a pre processed stage and then object detection is performed using Kenny detection methods in the OpenCV framework. After detecting the objects, filters such as aspect ratio, size and color differences are applied to separate those that contain real objects. The shapes obtained are then passed through the YOLO model, a CNN-based object detection algorithm, to identify the shape and alphanumeric data of the ODLC in the images. The resulting data is then processed through a localization algorithm using the X and Y values of the first image and the drone's global coordinate values to determine the global coordinate values of the ODLC. All objects detected during the survey are stored in the memory. To mitigate the possibility of the YOLO algorithm not showing the desired performance in the competition, a second method is prepared. In this method, objects detected with OpenCV are sent to the GCS via an LTE 4G module or SIYI transmitter and shape and letter detection of the objects are manually performed. The X and Y coordinates of detected objects are then sent back to the companion computer. After the survey is complete, all detected objects in the memory are matched with bottle information provided by the competition using an algorithm we developed, and the global coordinate drop point for each bottle is determined. Afterwards, all of these coordinates are transferred in order and each corresponding bottle is placed at the corresponding coordinate.
The payload mechanism consists of five identical systems. Due to reliability and controllability factors, a system involving a DC motor with a magnetic encoder is designed. Each system includes a DC motor, gears, a pulley, and a mini servo motor. Considering the price and performance values, Polo the 6 volt DC motor is chosen and the gear system is designed 3 to 1 ratio to achieve the desired torque and RPM values. Gears are locked by a mini servo motor until the airdrop starts. The payload is attached to a fishing line that is wrapped on a pulley with 2 inches diameter. After the system that is used to drop one payload is completed, it is quintupled to drop all of the payloads in a single flight assembled to the UAV. In order to control the quintupled payload mechanism, a PCB is designed to meet the requirements. The board consists of a ECB32 microcontroller, 3.3 volt, 6 volt regulators to supply motors and electronics of mechanism and 5 motor drivers. To keep the payload butters stable and aligned to the center of mass with the geometrical center of the UAV, a part has been designed to be attached to the legs of the drone. Also, cases from fabric are designed for the payloads to facilitate easy connection with the fishing rope. Related payloads for the detected drop coordinates are dropped at an average speed of 1.5 meters per second via PID algorithm using the data read from the encoder. As a result of this process, the drop time for one payload is observed about 30 seconds. This process is repeated for all the battles and each payload is dropped and released from the mechanism over the detected and related shape. For transmitting the information required by the ground station, SIYI MK15 is preferred. A stable and high rate of data transmission provided for a safe and successful mission via this system. For transmitting the images which are taken during surveying, cellular network communication is chosen as the main plan. Quectal EC254 g module is used to advance Jetson Nano with the capability of connecting to cellular networks. As a backup plan, SIYI MK15 with SSH-based file transfer, transfer protocols over Ethernet link is available. To achieve optimum weight and durability, the UAV is designed as an X-shaped quadcopter consisting of four identical carbon fiber arms and a two-deck square mainframe. The plates are joined by metal folder arms, also spaces are added to provide rigidity. Motors are connected to the central frame from the corners with a dihedral angle of 5 degrees carbon fiber tubes. Four battery packages, GPAs and the fl flight controller are placed on the upper plate. To prevent any interference with the GPS, other electronics and high current passing cables are placed on the lower plate. Lastly, UAV is lightened by creating holes on the plates at low stress locations. Carbon fiber plates are cut using a CNC cutter. All parts including arms, legs and payload mechanism are connected to the base plates with M3 bolts and nuts. Also, thread locker is used to strengthen the connections. 22 inches hybrid carbon propellers and T-Motor MN6072 have been chosen to achieve sufficient thrust. Tecco 32, 65 ampere, 4 in 1 EC, ESC is used as a speed controller. The data of thrust throttle and thrust current testing with 22 inches propeller and 6S battery is as follows. The UAV uses Pixar Cube Orange running PX4, which is an open source autopilot system that is widely used in UAVs. It is designed to provide a robust, reliable, and flexible platform for various types of aerial applications. The X-Force capabilities are well suited for many of the challenges faced in the competition. For instance, its advanced flight control algorithms allow precise and stable flight, which is essential for tasks such as aerial photography and localization. The X-Force support for GPS and other sensors also makes it ideal for the tasks such as autonomous navigation and obstacle avoidance. With the ADSB antenna on the Pixar, the vehicle can detect and avoid other UAVs. Q-Ground Control is used as a ground control station. It is an open-source software used to remotely control unmanned vehicles. It offers a user-friendly interface for monitoring and controlling the vehicle's movements and accessing telemetry data. Since autonomous avoidance of dynamic obstacles is both difficult to implement and costly, simpler solutions were pursued. As the first solution, the position of other UAVs are determined using the ADSB antenna of the Pixar and UAV to avoid other UAVs based on this information. ADSB is a technology in which an aircraft determines its position via satellite navigation or other sensors and periodically broadcasts it, enabling it to be tracked. As the second solution, the UAV was visually monitored, and in cases where it was seen to approach other UAVs, a command to change altitude was given to the UAV through GCS to prevent it from colliding with the other UAVs. A fixed-wing UAV design was considered for its efficiency and fast cruise velocity properties but was discarded due to the complications that were expected to occur for airdrops. 
Hexacopter, eight motor quadcopter and conventional quadcopter configurations were considered, but propulsion and efficiency calculations were weighing closer to the quadcopter design with powerful motors, and thus the other configurations were discarded. Four models were considered for the airdrop mechanism. The first one was a rotational and actuated mechanism that used two stepper motors to select and release the payloads. Although the model showed potential, it was too large, too heavy, and the complexity of the mechanism made it prone to the unexpected failure. Other two alternatives used the idea of controlling freefall via braking. One used a disc brake. This mechanism, although light and fast, created large oscillations in the drop payloads which increased the chances of missing. The oscillations also created rapidly changing external forces on the drone which created a safety problem. Attempts at solving these problems via software were not satisfactory, so this alternative was discarded. The other braking mechanism used a band brake. Falling speed was controlled by increasing the braking force via tightening and loosening the band. Finally, the current model was selected because of its reliability, controllability, compactness and lightness. For the companion computer, two options were considered, Raspberry Pi 4 and Jason Nano. Raspberry Pi 4 was advantageous for being lighter and smaller in size, however, YOLO models run at a higher speed on Jetson Nano. Therefore, Jetson Nano chosen as a companion computer. For shape and alphanumeric detection, EAST, Tesseract, OpenCV functions and YOLO algorithms are tested. YOLO performed better for both tasks. Between YOLO 5 and YOLO 7, latter gives better results for shape and alphanumeric detection. For the communication system, two alternatives, a cellular communication and SIYI transmitter are considered for image and ground control station data transmission. Due to the fact that SIYI is out-of-the-box compatible with Q-Ground Control software and offers lower latency, it is chosen for transmitting ground control data. For image data transmission, high bandwidth and resistibility to interferences from other transmitters were taken into consideration. As a result, cellular communication is chosen to transmit visual data. In the tables, Developmental Risks and Mitigations table and Mission Tasks and Mitigations table are shown. To improve the camera image quality, the shutter speed and ISO values of the camera were adjusted. In addition, the vibration of the UAV was minimized to reduce the shake in the images and the gimbal was used for the camera stabilization. A synthetic dataset was created to train the YOLO model. The dataset was generated by combining processed background, shape, and alphanumeric images using the OpenCV framework. Efforts were made to increase realism and randomize the dataset as much as possible. Automated labeling for YOLO was also applied during the dataset creation. The YOLO model was trained using the artificial dataset that was created. Separate models were trained for shapes and alphanumeric characters. The models achieved an accuracy of over 90% on the test dataset during training. For real images, the models achieved an accuracy of over 80% after training. Testing process of the payload mechanism took place in four steps. 5 feet ground testing, 30 feet testing from a building, manual and autonomous testing with UAV at 90 feet above the ground. Initially, the mechanism was tested alone to prevent any damage to the UAV. First tests were conducted from 5 feet to test if the braking system works as expected. Then, the mechanism is tested from a high building around 30 feet. After each test, necessary design, software and hardware improvements are determined accordingly, and the mechanism is optimized as required. After achieving 80% success rate, the mechanism is assembled to the UAV and first manually, then autonomously tested from 90 feet AGF. The data acquired from testing is as follows. A total of 37 attempts have been made from the top of the building at 30 feet. The success rate of the building tests was initially below 55%. After reaching 80% success rate, the mechanism was started to be tested on the UAV. In 11 out of 16 of those tests, the payload was successfully delivered to the ground from above 90 feet. The density of the drop locations is as shown. After 5 feet, 30 feet and 90 feet testings are completed, the payload mechanism is quintupled to drop all the payloads in a single flight. The testing of the quintupled mechanism still continues. To evaluate the performance of the communication systems, several tests in different ranges are conducted. As shown in the table, LTE module offers satisfying performance independent of the range. Although SIYI remote controller speed is highly satisfactory for transmission of ground control station data, it causes delays in a long-range image transfer. 
To test and compare the trust data provided by the manufacturer, the team has designed and produced a mechanism which helps to verify the accuracy of the data. Before and during the design process, the components are analyzed using engineering design software to prevent any potential system failures. Real-time autonomous flight tests were conducted with approximately 60 real-time autonomous flights and about 7 hours of total flight time completed. Following initial tests, nearly all of the flight tests were autonomous, including takeoff and landing, with all missions predetermined from the ground station and uploaded to the aircraft. The acceleration and PID tuning parameters were adjusted to increase the flight speed and minimize deceleration during returns. To test autonomous flight performance, the team has performed demo flights in both simulation and real life. In total, approximately 7 hours of flying time is reached by conducting around 60 real-time autonomous flight tests. Initially, takeoff and landing were done manually in the first three tests, but in almost all of the following tests, including takeoff and landing, the flight was autonomous. Therefore, the average time spent in manual mode per flight is almost zero. The performance of the UAV in reaching designated waypoints was evaluated by testing around 1,200 waypoints, and it successfully reached all of them, with an error rate about 10 feet. To improve the accuracy of the waypoints, the tuning of PID is modified, and the acceptance radius of the waypoints is minimized from the ground station. The balance between the accuracy of the waypoints and the flight duration is fine-tuned to achieve the best possible result. For the obstacle avoidance, the ADSP server was activated on Q-Ground, and it was observed that the ADSP system was working correctly. At the same time, altitude adjustment settings were made on Q-Ground. Avoiding obstacles by changing altitude was tested in the simulation environment, and it was successfully seen that obstacles could be avoided. During full mission tests, the UAV has faced no problem during takeoff, waypoint traction and landing, and no safety issues such as any sort of crash or falling parts was encountered. Three full mission tests were counted, conducted in total. In those tests, 12 out of 15 objects were successfully detected and identified. Out of 12 successful detections, 9 package releases were successful. From those 9 successful releases, 7 packages landed gent gently in the desired radius. The mismatch between the airdrop performance data from the full mission test and the airdrop test is because 6 of the airdrop tests were done before the full mission tests were carried out. Our team has worked hard to meet the exceed the requirements of the competition, and the resultant four motor quadcopter design, the geared motor controlled airdrop mechanism, selected electronics configuration along with the control and image processing programming, provides the team with a reliable, stable, and fast UAV that has a satisfactory successful mission rate. After some fine tuning and final optimizations, the next destination for your Airbender's UAV team is to Maryland. Yip yip.